you for tuning in to Soul Water Saturdays, where your soul never thirsts. It is I, your girl, Beauty and Bars. And tonight, I am back at Lawn Gnome for another fantastic poetry slam. So tonight, I'll be doing things a little differently. Usually, when I come here, I'm usually reciting a poem about the Lord, though I do love the Lord. Tonight, I'll be reciting something different. It will be a poem that I wrote about my father. I'm excited to see the reactions tonight about this poem. Usually when I come and I do a poem about Jesus, they hate me. Last time, like I told you guys, I got my first one, which means my poem really stunk, even though I know it was fantabulous. But tonight, we will see what the reactions will be show you guys a video of the crowd so far it has not started yet we haven't even did the draw so it is a light crowd right now but trust and believe when the poetry slam actually starts it will fill up so tune in to see what happens next here we go uh, the way this is going to work is uh, it's competition, so we have three rounds for tonight. Uh, all, the, all the poets will be competing in the first round, and then we have five judges uh, that have been picked because I've been personally told that they uh, have been flown from across the world for their judging skills. Uh, so they are professionals in what they do. Don't doubt me at all. I'm not making this up as I go. Um, so yes, they will be judging these poets tonight. Uh, they will be judging off a rating scale of 0, 0.0 to 10, 10 being the best thing they've ever seen, the best thing you guys have ever heard. Uh, and zero being the worst thing that should never be recreated or even respoken anywhere else on the planet. Now, I've never seen anyone get that, and please let that not be tonight. It has to be a good time, you know? Christmas just happened, New Year's is coming up, joyous times. Uh, but don't let me influence how you want to judge. Do whatever you want, you savages. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to take the top five for the second round, top three for the last round, and then we will pick one winner for tonight that can hold their head high for one week till the next Poetry Slam, where they can try to defend their title. Should they, should they so choose. Um, so that being said, judges, I want you to not feel too much pressure tonight. Your goal is to just obviously judge how you feel. We trust you. You guys have obviously been flown in from across the world. You know, some people I've heard from Europe, some from like Tunisia. Like, come on, who's ever, who, who knows somebody from Tunisia? One of you guys out there. One of you guys know somebody from Tunisia? Because uh, you're from Tunisia is what I've heard. Otherwise, that being said, <laughs> we got Frankie on camera. He will be our uh, camera boy for tonight. Otherwise, again, we I want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, it's a uh, dark time tonight because it's midnight, roughly. It's dark time. It's nighttime, so it's very dark. Uh, that being said, there is some light on, and there's some light here having you guys come in. Uh, so we appreciate that because otherwise we can't have a poetry stand without an audience just as much as we can't have poetry without the poets. So I thank you guys both. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. Let's go ahead and warm up now. I want it to be louder. Round of applause. There we go. Okay, there we go. So again, judges, your goal is to not be influenced or swayed by anybody else. Uh, audience members, your entire goal, the only reason you're here is to sway those judges. Let them know how much you love the poets. Go ahead and applause really loudly. Keep your phones on silent, please, or vibrate during the performances. You guys are all adults. You've heard this speech a lot. I won't patronize you. You guys are obviously professionals. Gosh, how dare I? Um, that being said, uh, yeah, so just go ahead and do your best to just have a fun time. If you're really swayed by something a poet says, something that really just resonates with you, you can go ahead and be uh, polite and give them a good snap. Go ahead and snap them, guys, just so, again, warm up, warm yourselves up. There you go. You're something that really just resonates. Waffles are better than pancakes. Frogs should never fly. You know, things like that. Just go ahead and snap. Uh, and if you have something you just disagree with and you really just want to tell them, like, hey, I don't agree with that. That's so terrible of you to say that Magic Treehouse was better than Magic School Bus. How dare you? Go ahead and give a good, strong hiss like a snake. Go ahead and do it with me, guys. Okay, good. I want to make sure you guys can follow directions. I'm proud of you guys. This is a great audience tonight. You guys are just ah, professionals. I love it. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and dive right into this. Uh, again, we have eight wonderful poets. Uh, so judges, what I'm going to do for you to get you into the mood of things, I'm going to start us off with a poem. And what are you guys are going to do is you're going to judge me as if I was performing in the slam. So go ahead and judge Shard's Content. I won't care because I don't get to leave. So um, that being said, just go ahead and do it. And then after that, we'll get right into the slam. So if you guys are ready to start this slam, go ahead and give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm sorry. Did you guys? Am I, are we all dead? Go ahead and say it one more time. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. I want our neighbors to come back and give me noise complaints. All right. That being said, we're just going to dive right into it. All right, judges, go ahead and treat me like I'm a poet. Introducing Landry to the stage. Hey guys, thank you, it's me. <laughs> Hi. Landry, 
Grace. I want to write a love story for the ages. I want to have people too eager to turn the pages as fingers become arthritic and eyes desiccate from glazing the paper in search of answers to questions we never ask. I'm too complacent, dreaming of an easy street saunter in stormless meadows where truth reveals itself to me. I didn't realize how much work this took, how steady hearts necessitate the writings of good books and shaky foundations lead to rhythmic conclusions. I gave 110% yet couldn't cause her to budge more than the amount of bravery it takes to take a solid step in the right direction. This is called the effort of forfeit. Failure can stop you and it does its best, staring its face every time so that it faces success. Some days may feel plagued of tribulation and strife, but if you were to let fear grip you, then you couldn't handle life. No one can see the future. If we could, we would look. You can't be certain about outcomes, but all is your output. The road is life's obstacles, ambitions the tires, when obtaining possession's first gear is desire. When you're in your most darkest hour, insight provides that spark of power. If you always do more, you should never see less, when your plan is always to perform much better than your best. Where you are from can't define who you'll become, but usually your outlook will always be your outcome. Every moment that's squandered, your time spent in squalor, that's why every breath to me is worth at least a billion dollars. There's multiple options in life to make gains so that you could be free and not wear corporate chains. I could be mad at the system, but I know the game. But it's, And it's important to know your position on the food chain. One way to look at life to help you make it through, don't let what you don't know stop what you know you want to do. Acceptance you need to move forward is catalyst to dwell on regrets. Oh, damn, I messed up. To dwell on regrets only causes paralysis. Acquisition will will demand the implementation of focus till you're no longer a person and become only a purpose. The upper echelon of life will have grand introductions and any plans for greatness aren't ordinary instructions. For th Hush, y'all loud enough to wake the dead. Hush your voices. Let that man lay in peace. Force down a desire to mourn for him or it's gonna get you your ride to hell. Repent on your own deathbed. Do not speak badly of those who died. Be solemn in your memories of those who passed. Fear death, hush. Speak of those passing in quiet tones, hush. Only speak of the dead in past tense, lest you confuse someone, hush. Suppress your body's desire to pour out the pain of that loss, hush. Hold back the tear to you. Don't send flowers. 4 a.m. And I wake to another message from you, squeezing between the cracks of my fence the same message you have sent before, the dried out baby's breath we didn't speak two months ago. I miss you. Well, what does that even mean, you miss me? Do you miss the way we didn't talk? How the grass grew tall on the pathway between our hearts, the way I cried myself to sleep for countless nights on end in a dry, dusty wasteland, you miss me? You miss the strength of my hands, of having another body to pick up the slack where you left off. You miss me like a fish misses the sky, like a mountain misses being able to fly. You miss me like the Pope misses getting high. Oh. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And yet, first. I've got two problems. I can't fall asleep and I can't wake up. I've got two problems. I can't form attachments, yet I can't let go. I've got two problems. I'm a perfectionist but I can be really lazy. I've got two problems. I don't know who lets me down more, myself or others. Both disappoint me so often. I've got two problems. I'd like love, but I've convinced myself I don't deserve it. It's like a bingo card, Yahtzee and Pokemon Go all in one. I'm trying to get them all, like trying to get a fear of enclosed spaces and the outdoors, I'm trying to cover my bases, hedge my bets. I shouldn't even be faced. I shouldn't even be scarred. I shouldn't even be swayed by a potent mirage. Your words are as potent as a scorpion's trap, a spell of poisonous hell, my heart under attack. My love was pure as a virgin and I can't take it back. Feelings of hatred, time wasted, has my heart turning black. When the bars opened up, you were declared a free man, but your mind was still confined, lying trapped in the hands of the state of Arizona.
gangster persona, street life. After about a month, I saw your truth was all lies. You came out my best friend and metamorphed with the wind. Now the mention of your name is a sound I can't stand. You are the apple of my eye. I gazed at you with adoration. And then you made me cry when you transformed into Satan. Your sister passed away and left you money from her death. In a matter of five months, you were broke, nothing left. You broke me off a piece out of love to fix my car. The car has since been repaired, but not the damage to my heart. I'm thanking you for the money, but it wasn't worth a dime. My love is not material. All I'm asking for is time. Over the months you've shown me that I don't mean a thing. I love you are just words to you. You don't know what that means. You break your neck for your homies when they're nothing but stagnant phonies. You love these women and these men like it's holy matrimony. 90% of the time, I don't hear from you. You couldn't deal with half the pain that you've put me through. To love someone so much, you stoop down to their level, only to find that love is blind, you gave your heart to the devil. I'm going to pour all of this hurt within this poetic flow, because after I'm done, it's time for me to let go. I will no longer let you have a piece of my life. Bad energy has been winning me, and now it must die. Remember every time you chose the streets over me? Ever imagine how agonizing that must be? For a baby to adore you and sleep in your bosom, and you abandon her to throw up gang signs with the hoodlums? Remember when you come by to pick me up and my mom would deny you? Man, that must have been tough. But imagine how it hurt the little girl that was waiting. All I wanted was my daddy. My heart was decaying. Remember when my mom did let me go with you? Remember the detrimental things that you would do? Driving drunk without a care of your life or mine? Beating the lady with the broom at McDonald's that time? You drove drunk in your girlfriend's car hit a person in bail, didn't care about my safety, you just couldn't risk jail. Remember beating your ex-wife right in front of my face because you were high on sure? Yeah, that wasn't okay. Remember when you choked me for calling the cops, threatened to kill me when you saw me right on the spot? I was terrified of you and when, you saw, when I saw you, I cried. When you made those threats, you meant them. The one time you never lied. I never wanted to see or talk to you, I was dying inside. But for the sake of my aunt, I set my side of pride, my pride aside. I wish from that point on I would have left you alone. Your words hurt me and broke my bones like those sticks and those stones. Slowly eating at my flesh like a gun to my chest. Even as an adult, I'll put up with your mess. But at this point in my life, it's time for me to depart. Stop being fooled by the mirage. My eyes are a door to my heart. Can't handle your late your level of potency. I'll no longer deal. You've shown me that you don't give a crap about the pain that I feel. And at this point in my life, it's time that I heal. And Jesus is the way, so it's time that I kneel. This is my story, and I've lived it, but this chapter is closed. Depart from me, Satan, because you've been exposed. Destroyed myself for far too long, chasing after your love. I'm done falling in and out of love. It's time to get up. Potent Mirage, I love you so much that I'm saying goodbye. Because I love me too much to keep dying inside. You broke promises like my heart, but I'll be sure to keep mine because I promise you I'm done and I'm not pressing rewind. Chapter closed. We like to complicate conversations. Trade false confidence for false common sense. Cross stars like constellations and cross glances in common places. Now, if I cross your glance in a cafe and I walk up to you and say, hey, I think your eyes are brilliant blue. They remind me of Olympic swimming pools and I want to jump into them. The first thing you're gonna think is why is he asking me this and what is his intentions? We like to complicate comfort. When you're sitting in my living room and you're crying about your ex-boyfriend, well, I just lightly touch your shoulder to comfort you like my mom did. I was raised by a woman. I know what you're looking for and nothing more but you look at me like some type of monster crisp white pages fine and light feels to my fingers pure delight bare and waiting for ink to grace 
its ever waiting blank open face. Whatever you will, fill the space. Sometimes taunting in a block or welcoming the mind's rock. Color gracing canvas gently, accepting pressure given angrily. Letters dancing, words stepping onto it like pebbles gracing the water. Pen romancing pages, hands resting, graceful sweet. I remember you like a melody. The sound of music playing on repeat. Soft, sinister, but also sweet. No raindrops, no roses, no night for me. We sang laughter in hallways and pennies on train tracks letters in lockers and your hand on my back feelings of being so young and carefree these are a few of my favorite memories words left unsaid and the regret no no remember 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 bare feet on playgrounds and whispers at midnight nightmares you shattered with embraces so tight and that frantic tingling feeling it brings. These are a few of my favorite memories. Shattered windshield and that black dress that I had to wear. They tell me remember and time heals all things. But sometimes life's just not fair. First time I saw you, I knew I wanted to lip wrestle. No holds barred and biting permitted. Like Vietnam vets fighting in taverns. Sloppy, rushed, and uncoordinated. Wet with sweat beads glistening like lit cigs and broken beer bottle glass shattered on pool hall floors until we're exhausted and in need of water. Period. Your mouth reminds me of a cookie jar. Disguised as a glass of milk, always leaving me parched. Look. So tonight's Poetry Slam was an interesting one. There are a lot of different poetry styles and it was very intriguing. I liked each and every poet. For me, I didn't score very high, but it didn't matter to me. The poem was really for a healing for me. That was what it was all about just to heal me from the inside out from all of the hurt and turmoil that I've dealt with when it comes to my father. So when I recited the poem, I felt a lot lift off of me and that is my purpose for performing this poem tonight. So I'm excited about how it went. I am happy, I am satisfied, and I am pleased.
I don't know why it scored so low because it was actually a pretty amazing poem. I hope you guys go back and listen to it. It was pretty awesome if you ask me, but at the same time, I know usually when I come here, I spit the truth and people usually don't like it. So some people may be harboring some feelings, but that's okay because that will not stop me from doing what I am purpose to do when it comes to my walk with God. So beauty and bars will forever speak the truth. That's what I do. I spit and I spit the truth. I spit it boldly and I will never hold back. So lawn gnomes, I will be back. But this was an amazing experience as always. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Soul Water Saturdays where your soul never thirsts. I hope I fed your soul tonight with some poetry. I love you all and I will be talking with you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking subscribing for sharing for being so supportive thank you so much for being amazing thank you so much for all of the love that i get for this channel you guys are amazing i couldn't do this without your love so i will talk to you guys next time bye bye yeah. full-time rapper with a go grill in the stacks uh. got a four bills in the lag truck Aye. got a whole meal to the tax come huh. gotta give it all back huh Aye. riding the wave you gotta play the wife in the game that you love me so i'm feeling good feeling good say but not soft you get that understood uh. god got me doing things i never would